Okay, continuing with, with proportions, we're going to use this in geometry, similar figures. So all similar figures are figures that are the same shape but different sizes. So the first thing we have to do is we have to have a direct relationship, some sort of um, basis for our proportion. So uh, you got to find what we call corresponding sides, sides that go together. So this side and this side are two sides that go together. So that gives us our first ratio. Then uh, we want to take the one that we are missing or looking for in this case, which is X. We got to find which side it goes with, which is over here, 36. Now, what we've done is we've done big over small. In other words, I did the big figure measurement over the small figure measurement. On this side, we've got to do the same thing, big over small. So in the big figure, the measure is 36, and the small one, that goes with X. So then we just cross multiply 12X, 4 times 36, I believe is 144. Then we divide by 12, and we get X is 12. Okay. Let's continue. So here we have 2.6 goes with 33.8. And then that is 18.5 with X. So here I did small over big. Small right here, over big, so then I did small over big, small over big. Just make sure they always match up that way. Alright, so we cross multiply, oops, sorry about that. Cross multiply, we get 2.6 times x equals, I'm going to get my calculator out, 33.8 times 18.5 is 625. Then you divide by 2.6. X equals, okay, divide by 2.6. 240.5. Now let's go back, look at directions. Uh, find the missing sides, all it says. So, Alright. Get to number three a little different, okay? And what's different about it is the fact that we have our shapes, but they're kind of twisted or turned, okay? So i got to kind of look and reorient the picture so that they match up. So really what you're doing is you're taking this one, and if you rotate it this way or turn it that way, then you're going to see the 71.5 goes with the 14.3. So I'm going to do 71.5 over 14.3 equals, now 71.5 was in the big triangle, so 40.5 over then x. Let's cross multiply, 71.5x equals, get your calculator out again, 14.3 times 40.5 is 579.15. Divide by 71.5. And you get 8.1 is x. Alright. Let's look at the next one. Well, this one's going to be a little bit easier. Mainly because if you look real closely at the big quadrilateral, you're going to notice these sides are the same. Okay, so what's that make this? That makes it out of square. So guess what this one is? A square. So what do you know about a square? All the sides are equal. So there's really no proportion in due here. What you already know is x has to be 20, the same as that side. All right, last one. So in this one, Again, our picture has been turned a little bit, so we got to kind of match stuff up. So we know that x and the 3.3 .3 go together. So I'm going to do 3.3 .3 over x equals. Okay, so then that means the 17.8 goes with the 
5.6, okay. Cross multiply again. 17.8x equals, get your calculator out, 3.3 times 35.6, be 117.48, divide by 17.8, and we get x is, so we divide by 17.8, and we get 6.6. .6. Alright, so with proportions, uh, in similar figures, it's just a matter of matching sides up, getting your fractions ratio set up so that they're equal. Just pay real close attention. You always either do big over small or small over big, and you keep it consistent uh, with the other side of the proportion.